Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have got the Clay de Poe Radiant Corrector for Eyes. This is brand new to the Clay de Poe line, so I'm very, very excited to test this out for concealer week. So I've been uh, filming all along the way here and I've done, I think maybe five concealers at this point. And the first concealer that I did, I said, this is like the first concealer I'm gonna be doing for concealer week, but I think I'm gonna post this video up first because this is new. I've uh, received a lot of requests to do a review on this. So I think the videos that I'm gonna make live after this aren't, aren't gonna make sense. We'll see what happens. So this could be the first video of concealer week. This could be the sixth. I'm not exactly sure. But in any case, you guys were really interested in this product. I was very interested in this product. And if you'd like to see me apply this to my face, do a full day wear test and give you my final thoughts at the end of the day, then just keep on watching. All right, so let me just start by giving you a little bit of background. If this is your first video with me, I am doing a concealer week. And when I do concealer tests, I like to put down a fairly light coverage foundation. I don't wanna use any primer. I'll usually just powder one eye unless it's very obvious that it needs to be set down with some powder. Um, so today I have the Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Moisturizing Tint on. This is a very light to medium kind of coverage uh, foundation and that's all I have on my face. Of course I've washed it and moisturized it. I'm 44 going on 45 so I have very dry skin. I've always had dry skin. That's not just from my age. I have like a little discoloration around my eyes. It's a little bit of sallowness. I don't suffer too much from like the bluish purple um, dark eye circles underneath um, the eyes, but I do have fine lines. So those are the things that I'm battling and that I would like to conceal with concealer. So that's just to give you some background. Right now it is 7.45 in the morning. So we're gonna do at least like a seven to eight hour wear test uh, with this concealer. So again, we're doing the Clay de Peau uh, Radiant Corrector for Eyes. This is brand new. I believe there are six shades and I bought the lightest, which is ivory. So let's see what it says on the back of the box in terms of this product. Uh, a creamy luminous concealer that enhances the beauty of eyes through a special formulation that focuses on visible eye area concerns. That's very vague. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up and see if there's any more information inside. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. No additional information on the actual pen. And there is, you know, that obnoxiously large pamphlet on the inside. <clears throat> Uh, camouflages uneven tone, conceals imperfections, and transforms the appearance of skin for bright, flawless look. I think that's what every concealer says. Features advanced optical and counterbalancing, counterbalancing, that's the first time I've seen this word being used in a concealer pamphlet. Um, glow technology to conceal dark circles, dullness, and uneven tone, and give the eye area a bright, natural looking appearance with the stroke of a brush. Brightens, moisturizing, uh, resists settling into expression lines. That's definitely what I like to hear because of the fine lines I have under my eyes. Uh, diminishes the visibility of fine lines. Uh, it contains the Illuminating Complex EX. I think that's the Clay de Peau, like proprietary skincare ingredient. Uh, brushes on smoothly, provides an ultra thin layer of coverage that feels dewy on skin. Apply following skincare or the application of a pre-makeup base. When using with a powder foundation, apply concealer before foundation. When using with fluid or cream foundation, apply after. That's good, because I've already uh, applied my um, Chanel Healthy Glow. Apply concealer directly to coverage area and blend into skin, slightly smoothing with fingertip if necessary. And then when the button no longer clicks, the concealer tube is empty. All right, so I think we're ready to go. And this is the brush tip that it comes with. This is a much wider brush tip than uh, the typical brush tip applicator. Oh, that was fast. Oh my God, that was fast. Okay, a lot of concealer just came out. <laughs> I'm actually going to take the excess because I don't want to put too much on. Nothing like too much concealer to ruin your concealer. So let me go ahead and swipe underneath my eye here. I feel like there's a lot more on here than I need. So I am going to use my finger to blend in. Oh, wow, that was fast. <laughs> One go with my finger and it's all blended in. I really like that in a concealer. I don't like sitting here and blending in for hours. It also just starts to like bug my um, skin, my, my delicate eye area skin. 
So the less blending I have to do, the happier I am. That was fast, right? <laughs> All right, so that was a very thin layer. This feels super comfortable. It feels like I put on eye cream. I think if you have dry under eyes, which I think most of us do, this is kind of a dream, but we wanna make sure that it actually conceals and radiates. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I'm just taking my finger and dabbing it into the extra that I have on the back of my hand and just placing a little bit more. So I think the coverage is buildable and now I'm seeing a lot of brightness here. So this is, again, this is the lightest shade. I feel like if you have like a full shade lighter than me in skin tone, I think this is gonna be too dark for you. So that's surprising. I'm pretty fair, but I'm usually like the, the second kind of shade in. I'm not usually the lightest. I have to say, this was super easy application. Blends in super quickly, seamlessly. Even when I went in with like that light little second layer there, just blended right in. And I think the coverage is buildable. I feel like my under eye has a little bit more brightness. I'll go ahead and um, add a little bit more maybe to the outer corner here. And so we can see what it does out there. Yep, buildable, blended right in. Here's the eye with concealer, here's the eye without concealer. We'll do a close up and I want you to see how smooth my under eye looks. Amazing, right? I think I did a decent job uh, concealing up that sallowness that I have around my eyes. This color though, this ivory color, it's not very peach. So in terms of um, like darker circles, I'm not sure if it's gonna do uh, a, a good job kind of camouflaging that. I can't really say since I don't really have a lot of like blue purple under my eyes, but usually you want a little bit of peach, you know, in terms of the tone to, to correct that coloring. So I don't know, I'm just guessing, I'm just guessing here. And this has a very faint clay de peau rose fragrance, just so you're aware. It's very, very faint though. I can smell it on the back of my hand, but I can't really smell it on my fingertip. So it dissipates quickly, which is good. I don't know why they would add fragrance to something that you're putting around your eye. That doesn't make sense to me, but what do I know? Okay, so there it is applied to both eyes. Super moisturizing. It doesn't feel tacky. It just feels like like after you've put cream down, it just feels like a little, I don't wanna use the word moist. It just feels like you kind of have product down. Let me see. Yeah, it still feels that way over here. So I'm not sure if it ever sets down completely. All right, it's been a couple minutes. It still feels, it still feels kind of like I can feel the product there. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and set one eye and I don't see any creasing or any kind of weird migration. So I'm just gonna powder one eye and I'm gonna leave this one unpowdered. I am taking my Clay de Peau loose powder here and grabbing my Chikahoto Z1 powder brush. And I'm just going to grab just a little bit out of here. So I have just the smallest amount there. I just wanna go in lightly at first. And I'm gonna press that onto my skin and maybe add just a little bit more out here. All right, so let's take a close look here. I'm gonna zoom in and I, I'm i liking the look of both sides. I feel like this powder, which generally is very, very translucent, there's just like a super, super faint hint of like a light pinkish cast, but I feel like it added a little bit of coverage to this eye. So I apologize. I usually like to use powders that are just very, very kind of like translucent and minimal. And so we can still kind of see what's going on with the concealer, but I do feel like it's added a little bit of of coverage. So I don't know if you can see the difference between these two eyes, powdered, unpowdered. I think both sides look really good. I think if I were to take a look at my eyes right now, I would probably want to powder both just because it looks a little bit more finished. But I do want to see how this uh, concealer does on its own. So I am going to leave this side unpowdered just for science, just to see what happens. But I like how it has basically like blurred the fine lines that I have underneath my eyes. I don't really see them that clearly, which is amazing. And I think it's done a really great job brightening and it's super, super comfortable at the moment. Uh, again, it's 7.45 in the morning, so I will be back uh, early afternoon to give you my first check-in and see where we are with the powder and unpowder and see if this eye has uh, deteriorated or if the concealer has migrated at all. So I will see you then. <laughs> 
It is 1.30 in the afternoon now, and I put this on at around 7.45, if I remember correctly. Uh, so it's been a while. It's been like six hours, I guess. So I have very, very minimal eye makeup on. And again, I only powdered this eye. Um, I have eyeliner and mascara down on both eyes, but zero um, eyeshadow. So this concealer looks impeccable. No fading on either. The blurring effect is still going strong. I don't feel like my fine lines are coming through at all, powder side or non-powder side. And I really feel like I'm cursed in a completely positive, amazing way, because again, I usually have not great luck with concealers and I'm very picky about concealers. All the concealers that I've been reviewing so far have been amazing have been amazing. Some have had more coverage, some needed to be like set down or whatever, but they're all like really good performers. I haven't had any problems with any of them yet. I am really, really impressed. So let's do some close-ups and I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing, but it looks like I just put it on. And, it, and again, it's been like six hours. So very, very impressed. And I think what I like the most about this one, this more than any of the other ones, I really don't look dry like at all, at all. In fact, the opposite. It looks like I put eye cream on and that's it. So, so far, so great. So I'll be back at the end of the day, uh, probably around dinner time. And at that point, it'll be like a 10, 11 hour wear test. So we will see what's happening with this concealer then. And I'll see you then. <laughs> Hey guys, it is about 5.30 in the afternoon. So I've had this makeup on for about 10 hours now. Sorry, my, my little puppy is here. She's whining. She wants to play. Hang on, baby. I'm just going to do this real quick, okay? They just want to know how, how the concealer is doing. I know, I know. Okay, hang on. So before I sat down to do this final check-in and to give you my final thoughts, maybe about an hour or so after I did my first check-in, I did notice that underneath my eye here, I was starting to crease like a little bit. I was starting to get like little itty bitty, like eye crinkle lines in the concealer. So uh, what is that? So about six hours, I noticed a little bit of creasing here, but not any time before that. In terms of the side that I powdered, the concealer has stayed put. I don't feel like it's faded at all. It hasn't creased. It hasn't sunken into my fine lines. I am having a, I am having a little bit of like a mascara malfunction. So you'll see a little bit of like darkness under there. Fuzzy butters, mommy's talking. But let's do some close-ups so you can take a look at my eyes. I think we may have a new favorite concealer here. I am really, really impressed with this concealer. I'm mostly impressed with like how healthy it's made my eye area look. You know, it doesn't necessarily look like I'm, you know, concealed to the gods. Like I just have like this like shield of perfect color around my eyes. I just feel like they look really healthy. It looks uh, radiant. It doesn't look dry. My fine lines don't look emphasized. Everything just looks really, really like nice. Like just this really like nice, better version of my own eye area. And I'll take that. I think I've talked about this a lot with foundations that I really like my own skin to shine through a little bit. That to me is what makes it look, you know, really natural. And that to me is also what makes it look really, really healthy. At least for me, like when I put on something that's full coverage and it's just so mask-like, I don't think I look good necessarily. I think I look weird. I think I look almost like unhealthy. So anyway, I feel that way about this concealer and not to say that it doesn't have good coverage because I think the coverage is decent. I want to say this coverage is like a medium, but this is not one of those like super high coverage. This is not like your shape tape kind of concealer. This is definitely like a, let's make my eye area look the best that it can without making it look like I have like cake makeup on. So yeah, I am loving this. I think out of all the concealers I've tried, and again, I don't know when I'm posting this video, this is gonna be probably out of order. I'm probably gonna be posting this first, but out of the concealers that you'll see probably over the next five days or so, this one I think is my favorite so far. This is just like my kind of concealer. I do plan on doing a concealer week roundup where I talk about, you know, which concealer had the most coverage, which one felt the nicest, which one had the best longevity, which, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And this one definitely doesn't have the most coverage, but I think this is gonna be like, 
one of my overall like winners because this is so good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments section. Subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Okay, baby.